Welcome back to Rocket City. This season has been filled with a lot of pain, several losses by multiple scores, with us having the worst recruiting class in the entire country. A lot of recruits have turned their back on us and decided to commit somewhere else. This being our final game of the season and us having a mind-boggling nine recruits visiting this week, Rock Johnson's healthy again, and it's senior day. I don't think I need to say any more. This is an absolute must-win game. Look at that, Rock Johnson back into that starting lineup immediately boosts our overall back to 46. No more shaky bars, even with their 66 overall defense. There's honestly so many goals we need to hit, it's hard for me to count. Have a balanced offense, send some pressure on defense, and hope it works out for us. Senior day. This one's for Anthony Burks. This one's for Amari Jackson. Everybody who can't be playing with us right now. All the close, bitter losses and all the beatdowns we've taken this year. We can make it all up if we get a strong recruiting class and grab a win today. Trap that underneath to the fullback. Now you hit the tight end. Fourth and one. I'm going to go for it. Hit that tight end. Did he get enough? Yes, just barely. There you go, Isaiah Spencer. With the all-white jerseys, they're almost blending in with the snow. It's a little unfair. I'm stuck. Hit that tight end. He's past everybody. The senior Hank Anchor. Do we throw it now? He's right on my cheeks. Let's go for it. Fourth down. Hit him. Oh, Woo Su. So clutch. Good run there on first. Underneath. Touchdown. Beautifully placed pass. Rock Johnson is dealing right now. That was wobbly as heck. Definitely could have been better, but he put it where it needed to be. The fans are into it. The recruits are locked in. Hank Anker strained his back. He's out for the game. Short-lived career for him. That's all right. We got Nuts and Kirkin stepping up. He's been our main tight end this season anyway. Uh-oh. Here's a return. Speaking of Nuts and Kirkin, there he is on special teams. Nowhere to pitch it. Oh, their quarterback is Michael Scott. That is comedy. He's scrambling and he might trip. Sacked himself. This Michael Scott guy is a doof. He's got a guy deep. Oh, what a snipe and he dropped it. Even when Michael Scott did something right, he did something wrong. Let's hit that underneath route. Tony Swole. Go, Elijah. First down. Oh, Wusu burned him, but Rock Johnson, son. Here we go. Elijah Davis sneaking through. Oh, he's running the ball well today. Nice jukes. Hit him. Nice block out in space. Everybody's giving good effort. Hit the tight end. It's tipped up. Nobody could get over there. I thought the offensive lineman was about to catch it. Roll out. They're not covering him. Slide down for the first. Oh, unblocked on the edge. They're in zone. Or we hit the running back who cannot hold on to it. I am once again going for the fake punt. Oh, wait, this isn't going to work, is it? Yeah, nowhere to go. Poor Owusu. QB keeper. Michael Scott gets their first, first down of the day. Again, they run the same play. Oh, I'll take that. Roy Kent pitching it back by mistake. I do that way too much. You've seen too much of that on this channel. That could have been a pick six. I'm sorry, Roy Kent. Yep, at least we're holding on to the football and not giving it to the other team. Classic Drewski. Hit him. Desmond Rose. Way to hold on to it, buddy. And that'll move the sticks again. 100 passing yards on the dot. Very successful day for him. Jack Nitro. Oh, God. Got slapped. Nice movement. Makes his third down a little bit more manageable. I forgot the tight end. Oh, but he forgot the ball. Running back. 
They didn't cover him. And he's hitting him with a spin move. That was nice. Ooh, Owen Boutte. Go Jack Nitro. Nice jukes. That'll get us to a first and goal. Oh, somebody please block for him. Stay on your feet. Come on, guys. Hit that tight end. Nuts and Kirkin's second touchdown of the game for him. We were trying to look for Elijah Davis, but we'll take whoever's open. Oh my, how many pancakes are they going to get? Finally, we push him out. Sit down, Michael Scott. What a statement sending us to halftime. We held them scoreless in that first half. The fans are ecstatic. The players are thrilled. Having so much fun today. And of course, now that it is halftime, we got to hear from today's NIL sponsor, Hawthorne. Hawthorne is a premium men's grooming brand that makes it quick and easy to be your best with confidence. It's trusted by not only famous athletes, Steph Curry, Zach Levine, and Tyrod Taylor, but fake virtual athletes as well, such as myself. What I really love about Hawthorne though, is they tailor every product specifically for you. And the way this works is they have you take a quiz on their website. To build a more personal profile, they ask some common questions like how sensitive your hair and skin is, but they also ask some Fun questions like, what's your preferred way to spend the weekend? Do you like being out with friends at a bar? Or do you like being on the couch binge watching YouTube videos until 3 in the morning? For me personally, I found this really helpful because it gave Hawthorne the necessary info to find the products that I needed. Like aluminum free deodorant, refreshing shampoo, conditioner, body wash, and more. I'm even trying out some new products I've never used before. Like this water-based hydrating pomade and this green sandalwood foaming shave gel. Hawthorne going the extra mile means they truly do not miss. But for whatever reason, if you're not completely satisfied, Hawthorne will retail your products for free based on your feedback and they'll pay for the shipping so there's truly no risk. Don't miss out on the deal right now. Take advantage of my special offer right now by going to hawthorne.co and use promo code NOTTHEEXPERT to get 10% off your first purchase. Once again, go to H-A-W-T-H-O-R-N-E.co and use promo code NOTTHEEXPERT to get 10% off your first purchase. Thanks again to Hawthorne for sponsoring this video. Give him pressure. Ooh! In the backfield, tag team of Rocket City defenders. Oh, QB's taking off. And we stop him short. He is going to throw it across the middle. He's got a guy. Oh, he cuts in. Touchdown, Michael Scott, our arch nemesis. He looked like cheeks in that first half. But now he's scoring here in the third. Oh, Tony Swole, you can't do this to me. Right across the middle, Nuts and Kirkin. This man's a legend. And Rock Johnson just sets the school record for passing yards in a season. Saluting Anthony Burks. He says, I'm keeping that game ball. That one's for my brother. Do we have the tight end where you're gonna drop this short to Dorito? Who's out at receiver and actually makes a good catch? Maybe we found a better position for him. I'll lead him. Let's go, Jack Nitro. He has certainly improved as this season has gone along. Another senior making some big plays. Hit him. Oh, Jack Nitro, that would have been a touchdown for you, son. Oh, he's got enough! The big, the strong, the Dwayne Rock Johnson. Just driving the leg to get in there. This is a man who wants victory. He wants to prove to this fan base that he's got it. Oh my, what an athletic play from AJ Ford. Ain't no way. Ain't no way! We had two guys there. Pitches it way back there. And that's going to be a massive loss. There you go, Dixon. Oh, nowhere to go. He can't pitch that because he's being tackled. What a tackle. Now you wait for Desmond Rose. They didn't cover him there. It's Rock Johnson has been electric today. And Nuts and Kirkin has been elite as well. Oh, that's a shame. Another drop. Wrap him up, lads. There we go. Pressuring him. 
Had a guy just over there. Unblock Jason Hudgens. Zoom in through that offensive line. They were not expecting the safety blitz. Nowhere to go with it again. What was that play? That seemed busted from the beginning. Jason Hudgens back to back sacks. Oh my, what a dot. What was that third in a year and a half to go for the first down and he still converts? Noah Pounder! We're sending more pressure than they can handle at the moment. Woo! Get to him. We got in his face, made him throw a bad one. Cross the middle. And we kept him out. Turnover on downs. We're strong here in our own building. There's still a minute and 37 seconds left in this game. We need 33 passing yards to get the 250 on the game. And I believe we need 47 rushing yards. Now we're backed up in our own territory, so we can probably do this in one drive if we execute to perfection. So let's not waste our opportunity. Oh, they're calling timeouts. Actually, this is pretty good because we're trying to go for stuff. I'm not trying to run the clock out. Rolling out. Hit that tight end. Another timeout from them. Get it. Oh, out of range. First things first, we need to get this first down. I don't care if we're in our own range. This is our last chance to get these yards. These could be critical for recruits. The future of the program is on this drive. And Keyshawn Hicks says, give me that first down. Again, Desmond Rose, and he drops this one. They, they're kind of reading us now. Roll out. Rock can't do it. I'm going to burn a timeout. I need this. He got him. Tony Swall. Nearly picks. Fourth and 19. Literally our last chance. Come on, Owusu. I see you, Tony Swall. He didn't let me down. Go, Tony. First down. Yes. Only a lunatic like me would call for a Hail Mary on my own one yard line on fourth and long. We got our passing yards. Now it's time to get these rushing yards any way we can. So we got Jason Hudgens. He's a little bit quicker. A little cut from Owusu. And that's a first. That'll save some time. Keeper. Oh, I got to break that off. So we're going to call a timeout here. 50 seconds left. Oh, come on. Somebody block him. Hurry up the rest of the way. Go, Jason. Jason! It's not enough for the first, but we still can go. I believe. I don't even know how many yards we still need, but it, we haven't got it yet. Run, Owusu. Dive in for it. And we got it. Owusu's got the edge. He gets tackled, but that's 100 rushing yards. And that's all we needed at the very last play. Let that clock hit zero. We accomplished our goals. All the recruits saw it. We are victorious. Winning the game is the sweetest one. Give me that sweet victory. I am so happy the fans love it. They're like, oh my God, we won a game. We did it. Yeah, I would be celebrating like this too. Senior day, tip of the hat to all the seniors. Rock Johnson, Anthony Burks, Elijah Davis, Hank Anker, Jack Nitro, all of you. And player of the game rightfully goes to a senior. Career game for Rock Johnson. Man played his heart out. Can't believe we did it. Rock Johnson, hell of a game. 22 of 41, 263 yards, two touchdowns, zero picks. And we had just enough of a rushing attack. Elijah Davis averaging 3.7 yards per carry. He did the best he could behind the worst offensive line in the history of the world. How about Nuts and Kirkin leading the charge? He's not even a senior, but he still managed to bring in two touchdowns today. And then Tony Swole had that huge catch there late in the game. Never going to forget your biceps, mate. And Jack Nitro almost got himself a touchdown, but dropping the ball. Hank Anker had one catch and then he died. Awusu had five pancakes today. I can't even fathom that. Five tackles for Jason Hudgens today. We had five total sacks, two of them to Jason Hudgens, two to Noah Pounder, who was a senior. Tip of the hat to him. And then O'Shea Jackson. We also had a pick with Roy Kent, which we accidentally pitched backwards, but we still kept it, so it's okay. That was one of the most fun games we played all season. We felt loose. We felt confident. We got it done at home. Feels good to win again. Look at that. 100 rushing yards exactly on the dot. Two seniors, player of the game. Perfect. 
and then there's Michael Scott. After that successful win, we have another head coaching upgrade. We can't add any more to the closer. We could add it to the opener, but I think we should add it to Royal Treatment. Because if we add that right now, I think it'll add to the current visits for our players. So we want them to have the best visit possible, literally doubling the points we currently have for it. Lock it in. Oh my, look at all of these recruits we just got. Safe to say we were successful last week. Really establishing the brand here at Rocket City from this episode alone. Doug Mayfield, three star, 6'5, 269 out of Mississippi. He's so intelligent, 288 play rec. He's going to fit nicely with AJ Ford at the D tackle spot. And then we got William Newton. This guy I was really hoping for. He's got pass rushing ability and then a sliver of coverage as well. We can leave him on the field pretty much every play. And then we got a developmental tight end, Jesse Gaines. We are stacked at tight end now. Carlos Willis, he looks like he's going to be a defensive back. And meet our likely quarterback next season, Jeff Eaton. He's a Juco player, so we only got him for a few years but he's got 84 throw power, 84 accuracy, and he's got some great movement. We had so many recruits drop us that we brought Jermaine Smith back. Glad he wasn't butthurt, and he decided to come to Rocket City. And then Joe Cox, he's just going to be some depth for us. He's a Juco player. He's got a hilarious name, though. Joe Cox. We went all the way from the worst recruiting class in the entire country up all the way to 107. Talk about a glow up. And we did it at the buzzer. Bunch of three stars, bunch of two stars, and of course the two one stars. A lot of legendary names in this list. You're going to want to remember them. Wow, that's a surprise. The Heisman Trophy winner is Rashad White out of Arizona State. He's a pretty solid player in real life, but I had no idea in the game he had a shot for the Heisman Trophy. Shout out to him. Here's what the college football playoff top 25 looks like after conference championship week. Michigan State undefeated at the top, Alabama 2, Oklahoma 3, Georgia at number 4, Ohio State just missing it at 5, Arizona State at 6, SMU at 7, UCLA at 8, Clemson at 9, and Auburn at 10. There's what the playoff looks like. Michigan State will face off with Georgia and Alabama will take on Oklahoma. Now let's find out who wins. And it looks like Michigan State staves off Georgia. They will move on to the national championship game. It's Kenneth Walker just dominating. JT Daniels seems like he played well. Zamir White did as well. Looks like it was an epic game. Wow, okay, this simulation is crazy. It is anti-SEC because Oklahoma beats Alabama. We have parity in the simulation. They're storming in it with a comeback, though. 14 points in the fourth quarter. Caleb Williams just shredding. So weird to see Georgia and Alabama fall, but that is the playoff matchup. The national championship, Michigan State, Oklahoma, and Oklahoma takes it. Wow, and they storm back in the fourth quarter too. These games look really freaking fun. It's funny that it dropped them down to number five after all that, but now clearly they're national champions. Caleb Williams probably getting MVP. Peyton Thorne looks like he scrubbed it up. Kenneth Walker tried to do it all himself. And as we're closing out year one, let's look at some records that we broke this year. I set the records extremely low so they were easily surpassable. So we have a better history of what actually happened here. Samuel Wusu, obviously all the receiving records and rushing records his way. Rock Johnson, 649 yards total passing. We didn't even have a quarterback hit 1,000 yards. Anthony Burks definitely would have hit that, but broke his leg in the fourth game. Receptions in a season, 46. Receiving yards, 731 for Owusu. And with that, year one comes to a close. You see our target wins this year was five, and we only managed to win three. Some really close battles, though. So it may not seem like a majorly successful season, but we competed enough with a lot of good teams. We beat an FBS opponent, which we thought we never would have been able to do. We got a much better recruiting class than anyone expected as well, and we near nearly beat the FCS national champions in North Dakota State. We did well enough to get an invite from the Sun Belt to move on to the FBS. So whether we're ready or not, we're making the jump to the next level. If you made it to this point in the video, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. You're all legends in my book, and as for me, I am Drew Morris, big old Drewski, not the expert. And I'll see all you guys in season two. Peace!